So today I'm reading from card number 33 and this photo was taken at our local beach in Anigasan and I just love it over there because it's full of stones and rocks that almost look as if somebody painted feathered brush strokes on them and when the tide is in the water pours through all the little alleyways and the rocks splashing against them and bringing out all the hidden blues and red tinges. And you just feel totally alive. And it's just never the same. Anytime I go, it just has a different glow to it each time. And I think, you know, sometimes we just lose that sense of wonder because of our busy lives that are packed with responsibilities and things to do and places to be. And we forget to just take the time to feel the miracle of life and to see the wonder that surrounds us. And there's something about when you stand in front of an ocean Maybe it's the space, the air, it's so many things, but you feel yourself emptying out of anything that's maybe holding you back in life. You know, you may have some grief in you, you may have some regrets, you may have resentments, you may have many different things or nothing at all, but when you go to a beach, something changes. And I know for me, within five minutes, I'm a different person. Just being there, standing, listening to the waves and all it has to give. Nature changes you, you know, like it speaks to us all the time and I think that's why so many people are inspired to paint it, to write about it in poetry, in songs. It's just they are communicating almost with us and sometimes we might be in resistance to get out and about because we feel we've too many things to do and too many jobs to get done and just overburdened or maybe we haven't enough time but when we go with it and we get outside and we breathe in the air and the surrounding landscape it actually gives you more time because you're more clear in your head you're more focused to be more productive so it gives back more than it takes in the day And it's as if its gift to us is to move us out of our heads and into our hearts. And you know, it doesn't have to be the beach. It can be anywhere in nature. I'm speaking about the beach because it's the topic of my poem, Barefoot, which I'm focusing in on today. But it can be in the woods, the park, the garden. It's really about taking the time to listen and feel the life around you. It's so much more powerful than we probably realise. Because, you know, years ago, people were more connected with the land and nature because it was a way of living. And now we have more distractions and we spend more time indoors and we're losing something vital to the stability and well-being in life. And, you know... Life will always have its little ups and downs, just like the waves of the sea. But every wave meets a storm, and every wave will also calm, and eventually it'll bring us back to smoother surfaces. But always there's a story, and in every story there is the great potential of healing. But we have to be open and receptive to that healing, and give ourselves the space to breathe into that, and to let go, and not to punish ourselves for letting go, because sometimes we think we shouldn't celebrate life when this has happened or that has happened. But actually we're here to celebrate life, and especially for the loved ones that have passed on. They want us to live a full and vibrant life. They want us to celebrate and make the most out of every breath. And this poem is about feeling the miracle of your existence and to live the full experience of life and not to hide away in your emotions to really just feel it and there's no better place than the beach and we're so blessed with our Irish beaches because they are so rich in colour and texture and it's not just the rugged landscape or cliff edges or windy roads that lead to them it's you know the coarse grassy shores the stones beneath our feet the purples of seaweeds and those silvery blue tinged shells amongst others abundant on our shorelines and we don't always have you know this gorgeous radiant sunshine but we have amazing contrasts in light playing the whole time with the landscape and sometimes their sky can show all four seasons in one day But it can be the way the light slices through the clouds, highlighting something we maybe hadn't noticed. It can be how the clouds dull the light down so the mountains stand out. Or just a few days ago, there was this amazing pink mist rolling across the landscape. And the water appeared so still and calm, and it just felt like time stood still. You could honestly hear a pin drop. That's what it felt like. That really clears your head. It does something. And it's just... Everything, everywhere you look, there's just such beauty. 
in our Irish landscape. And even my two dogs absolutely never want to leave the beach when it's time to go. You know, they crouch down in the long beach grass hiding and looking up at me with their little eyes saying, please don't make me leave this magnificent place. They see the wonder of it. And you know, when you look up and you see that birds can fly, I mean, isn't it amazing? I mean, imagine crazy as this may sound if it was your first day on earth and you were just plonked on the beach and you saw the waves and you felt the air and you saw all the stones underneath and you looked up and saw the birds flying over your head and in the distance the fabulous rich Irish landscape that we have I mean we have to take every day we have and give it what we can because we don't know how long we have and also you know to be kind to others because we don't know what people are going through life is so precious so today just try to live in the gratitude of that gift in the joy of it though not in the sadness or the fear of what might happen we have to live in the truth of each moment allowing our feelings to flow through us to live from the inside out because when we hold things in we hold ourselves back but when we express our emotions in a healthy way and really feel them then we are opening our world up for a more vibrant and joy-filled experience of life. And just to quote from my novel, Rot and Hope, look at nature. That flower does not fight with the breeze that moves it. When something triggers you in life or someone triggers your emotions, be like the flower, move with it, not against it. Feel it, own it, release it. And you'll find that just like that flower, you'll experience the beauty and joy of a more radiant and fully expressed life. And there is a time for everything. There is a time for tears, but also a time for celebrations and happiness. And sometimes when you're down, you can't see the light. But don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself the time you need to heal. And when you're ready, let nature do some of the healing. You know, go to a beach and absorb its beauty. And if you can't just stand in your garden and listen for five minutes and just you know in complete silence don't let you know your phone or things interrupt you just sit there listening the birds the sound the feel of the breeze on your skin there's so many things going on around you that we miss every day and i'm telling you you will receive peace in your heart it changes you and just to remember that, you know, we all slip and slide and we are more alike than we realise. And, you know, nobody's life is perfect. And human emotion is a wonderful thing. It's there for a reason. And I love the quote by Rumi. The wound is a place where the light enters. And it's so true. And I just want to tell you a quick little story of my own. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was upset and I was missing my mum as you do and probably other little things triggered the disillusionment in me and it was around Christmas and uh, I went to the grave and I had a chat with my mum and I was just saying, you know, what you say at the grave when you're missing someone you love so very much and I just asked her for help and when I got back into my car a ding came on my phone and there was a memory that had popped up on it you know the way the phone kind of creates these memories for you and it puts music to them while well, this memory was of Mammy and me and our family and I was just after getting into my car I was still at the graveyard and just after asking her for help so I felt like it was man speaking to me and when I pressed play the memory spoke so much it was the images it was showing me of all the experiences myself and Mam had together from when my kids were tiny to not long ago and then the song that the phone had added to the memory really hit me it was by Leanne Womack, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and it was called I Hope You Dance. And the words that really jumped out were, I hope you never lose your sense of wonder, and may you never take one single breath for granted. And you know, that really pushed me out of where I was, and I guess anyone could have said that to me that day, and it might not have resonated as much as the way it happened at the graveyard. It was more the feeling I had in that moment, like I said, as if Mam was speaking directly to me. And there was something about how Mam is not here anymore, and realizing that we are still here, and we get the chance to keep inhaling this experience of life, and it is such a gift. 
that I really felt the closeness of my mum and I hear the message in it all and that she is happy for the life she has had and that she wants me to never lose my sense of wonder and to appreciate every breath of life and in that moment I was just so overcome with a feeling of joy and a deep realisation of the message in it all and just wanting to almost celebrate life because she gave me this life and I am going to live it well. So I'll put a link to that song and just have a listen to it because music speaks from soul to soul deeply. So I hope you have a lovely rest of January and a wonderful 2022. Did you ever walk along the beach on a day where the wind is unsure whether to topple along the surface of waves or take off with a rise collecting the ocean's gifts to sway past your face in a salted mist? Did you ever hear the ocean's song, the cooing of seagulls dotted on leopard skin sand, the breaking of waves and its vibrant call, the wide ocean, the mother of it all? Did you ever feel where your feet meet pebbles amongst cooling soft sand, leaving prints that will soon wash away, and all the time the mountain caresses the bay. Did you ever wonder why you're here at all, sharing this marvel that's a million things in one, wildness meeting with calm in a mirror of the sky, and then you, barefoot or shoed, passing through, Do you ever feel the miracle of your existence? Stand on a beach, take your shoes off, 